Hey guys, I wanted to help you with some sitting postures. I know that a lot of us are giving our chairs a bad rap, but I'm here to tell you that you probably don't really need a new chair. Maybe you just need different muscle activations. So grab a yoga block or a pillow or a roll of paper towels or an Amazon box or whatever you have and I want you to slide it right here between your knees. And what that does is it already starts to engage the muscles of my hip rotators and my pelvic floor by just kind of gently squeezing into that block. And it's also keeping my femurs in align with each other. When my femurs are parallel and my feet are parallel to each other and everything's pointed straight ahead, it allows me to rotate my pelvis into a better sitting posture rather than slump my pelvis this way and sit on my spine. I'm rolling and sitting on the bony part of my butt or the sits bones or the ischiums. So this is a great tip if you are sitting for work or school a lot. Just grab a little uh, yoga block and keep it there between your knees. I'm not squeezing the heck out of it. I'm just kind of preventing it from falling. And again, what that's going to do is start the stabilization process and activate the muscles of my hip rotators and my pelvic floor, as well as my adductors into um, allowing my pelvis to sit properly. So that's one aspect of good sitting. I want you to have really strong pelvic support muscles um, to get started. So then what we want to do is add on to that and start making sure that the muscles of my spine are really strong. And one way that we can do that, I'm going to turn this way so you can see me, is to just gently start kind of, I call it pumping the brakes, kind of pulling those shoulders back, just gently sliding the shoulder blades together as though you're gently squeezing a little lemon. And it's not necessarily that I want these muscles to start pulling me upright, but what happens when I pump the brakes that way is that it brings my head back a little bit, it brings my ribs back a little bit, and after about 20 reps, now you'll see I'm in a much better alignment vertically than I was maybe at the beginning. So if I started here, and I just kind of start pulling those shoulder blades together, it's going to change the position of my rib cage, which can then change the position of my spine, and it'll also change the position of my head and get me into a nice vertical alignment. So when we do an exercise like this at the gym, we load up as much weight as we can, and we're squeezing hard, and we're doing three sets of ten or five sets of five, but these muscles are more endurance muscles. So we're going to do a lot of reps here. We're maintaining that pelvic position with my, with my gentle squeeze in the block. And now I'm going to really work those endurance muscles of the spine by doing about three sets of 20. Or maybe even setting an alarm on your device or your, um, or your computer to remind you to do that every hour. Just three sets of 10 will do a nice job at um, removing that forward bend and that forward head and just letting the shoulder blades guide the way into a better vertical load there. So then what I want to show you is a twist. And when we twist to the side this way, we're working the oblique muscles for sure, but we're also strengthening the, um, the diaphragm muscle and the rib cage muscles if we add some deep breathing. So my knees and feet are still pointed straight ahead. I still have a little squeeze on that block. I'm going to sit up nice and tall, and now I'm going to inhale and try to really expand my rib cage and my belly, and then I'm going to exhale and try to compress it all. And I'm going to inhale. Nice big five second count and then exhale on five seconds. And as I sit here for one minute and do that deep diaphragmatic and rib cage breathing, I'm strengthening all the support muscles of the diaphragm that hold me up in a suspension and the rib cage. If those muscles are strong, they'll kind of act from the inside out to keep me vertical despite the chair. 
that I'm sitting in. Don't blame it all on your chair. Take charge of those postural muscles from the inside out. So then we'll just go to the front and shake it out a little bit. And now twist to the other side. And the twist feels so good. But the big deal here is I want to start strengthening the muscles that support my rib cage and the diaphragm from the inside out. If you can't twist as far as I can, that's okay. Just twist in whatever range of motion feels safe for you. And make sure that your feet and knees are still pointed straight ahead and both of your buns are still on the chair. And these exercises don't take a long time. They don't cause you to get sweaty. So you can do them while you're in that Zoom meeting or while you're between classes and really work on the sitting posture as an endurance activity, not just doing a few repetitions here and there. You might need to go back to this throughout the day. All right, so that was three exercises already, and it's only 8.06. So we've only spent six minutes and done three exercises. Let's do one more as a grand finale. This is called the sitting overhead extension. I want you to Clasp your hands together and then flip your knuckles out this way. And from that good pelvic position, now I'm going to raise my arms up overhead. And I'm going to look up at those fingertips and I'm going to straighten my elbows. And now it's almost like my hands are pulling my vertebrae into a nice alignment, creating space between each vertebrae strengthening those muscles that run like railroad tracks along the spine. I'm going to reach up a little higher, maybe back bend just a little more if I have it. Maybe pull those arms back a little farther, really feeling the lengthening and the distance from my tailbone all the way up to my middle back, all the way into my armpits, my elbows, my knuckles. Ten more seconds. Breathe. Never pulling back so hard that it bothers your neck. And then ease back down into straight. That definitely gives my back a really good workout. Again, it's not the same workout that we're doing at the gym when we do rows or pull-ups. Those, those are great exercises, but those are working the powerful muscles of the back that, that don't have the endurance always to help us stay upright. So these little postural muscles, these little stabilizing muscles, we need to work several times a day, certainly several times a week, and hold them for a long period of time so that they really start to remember their job to hold the spine up and hold the pelvis in an optimal tilt so that it can su support healthy sitting. I hope that helped. I'd love to hear all your questions, and I'd love to know how you felt after those four sitting exercises. I'll see you next time.